Welcome to Talk World Radio, a half-hour discussion of politics as if the people mattered. I'm David Swanson. This week on Talk World Radio, we are talking about peace activism in a country that perhaps has more of it than any other, Italy. Our guest, Sergio Basoli, is senior officer at CGIL's International Department. CGIL is the Confederazione Generale Italiana del Lavoro. We will ask Sergio to explain. And he is also the board's coordinator of the Rete Italiana Pace di Sarmo, or the Italian Network for Peace and Disarmament. And he is a member of the National Coordination of Europe for Peace. Sergio Bassoli, welcome to Talk World Radio. Hi, and thanks for the invitation. And good morning to everyone. Thank you for joining us from the beautiful city of Rome, Italy. What what is CGIL, uh, and is there any equivalent in other countries, including the United States? Of course, of course. Uh, CGIL is uh, the brother and sister of FLACIO. It's the Federation of Labor Unions. Yes, Federation of Labor Union. Yes, CGIL was founded uh, in. Uh, 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 19th century. Now, so we have more than uh, 125 years. No, CJN is uh, is uh, is practically a left left organization from the left wing, politically speaking, and uh, gathered. Uh, um workers from all the different yeah. sectors from uh, industrial sector services uh, agricultural sector you no know, uh, uh, bank insurance uh, uh, the new labor you no know, the new new jobs like uh, the the riders you no know, the, the people who give us uh, the 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 pizza in our house no yes yes and um, and is the third according to the affiliates is the third bigger uh, union the confederation in europe no we have more than 5 million affiliates no and uh, yes and uh, is uh, well is a, a, a working class organization, you no, know, uh, uh, fighting, fighting a lot with the, uh, our government. That uh, normally in the last uh, thirty years they they are uh, imposing a neoliberalism uh, 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 economic policy. So yeah. uh, uh, we are in solidarity with the. Uh, American workers, they are uh, in strike in, uh, I think, in the Michigan, you no, know, in the the auto uh, workers in Michigan and yes. the and the film workers in Hollywood and uh, yes, in uh, Hollywood, yes, the, the actors, etc. I, I mean, I, I will say, Sergio, in my defense, that I used to work for the AFL CIO, and I say that because I will confess that I used to teach the Confederation of Industry Owners uh, in Eor, south of Rome, uh, how to speak English. Um, and I'm, I'm sorry for having done that, uh, but I, I was looking for jobs teaching English uh, when I was in Rome. But the AFL-CIO doesn't do peace rallies, doesn't oppose war, in fact, supports wars. Uh, and there are port workers unions in Italy that stop weapons shipments. Uh, and there's labor union support for peace rallies. So it's very different, right? Yes, you, you are touching a, a point uh, for us very, uh, we are very worried because uh, at international level, uh, we are really isolated. <laughs> this is the question. No, uh, the international uh, trade union uh, movement, no, ITUC and uh, is, uh, there, there, there are two two uh, two different um, positions. No, one is like uh, you 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 said. I mean, there is uh, um, the the Western 
trade unions, the Western uh, unions, they are under the, the, the umbrella and they, they are silent or they agree with the military intervention in, uh, uh, in supporting uh, Zelensky uh, policy and uh, Ukrainian. And uh, the, the other position is uh, from the South. No? We call, as we call now, the global South. I mean, Latin America, African trade union, Asian trade unions. No, they are, they are uh, against the the Western countries. They are against uh, uh, the NATO. No, they are, uh, and they think they are saying that the responsibility of this war is divided between NATO and Russia. For this reason, they are not supporting the um, Western uh, position not to support um, in a military way the Ukrainians. And we are in the middle, you know, like we say in Italian, like a, a sandwich, you know, a salami in the sandwich. We are in the middle, you know, uh, in the middle between who is uh, supporting in uh, 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 every, everything it takes, you know, Ukraine, you no, know, they are for the rearm, they are for sending uh, 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 any kind of uh, weapons, uh, and uh, uh, the others, they are they are against against the peace solution. They are against the peace solution, the uh, ceasefire because they are thinking that uh, uh, there is no 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 reason for uh, stopping stopping the the um, the russian defense because they are thinking that russia is under attack i mean uh, uh, and our position our position as a, a, a confederation as a representing workers is uh, frankly isolated inside the uh, worker movement, but, but we were ready to build, as you said at the beginning, a very large, and I think the, the, is the biggest co uh, national coalition in, U uh, in Europe, no? Yeah. Uh, we were, uh, uh, since the, the first day of this war, of the aggression of Russia in uh, Ukraine, on the 25th of uh, February of uh, uh, 2022, we uh, went to the street. We went to the street saying we need a Europe for peace. Yes. And uh, we went to the street with the civil society organization from the churches, uh, from uh, the left movement, uh, youth, uh, and organization they are uh, involved in the social justice in uh, to defend uh, 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 the climate uh, etc all together no we went uh, to in the street saying please we need to to stop this war no from the first day no and, and, and is this with and can you tell us what is the the Italian network for peace and disarmament and what is Europe for peace? Okay, okay, and of course, of course, nothing is uh, is coming from uh, nothing. I mean, uh, CGL is part of the uh, network uh, Rete Pace e, Dis e Disarmo, no? network for Italian network for peace and disarmament. This is a, 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 a coalition uh, built in uh, in two thousand fourteen. Merging, merging a network uh, focused in the disarmament and another network focused in the question of peace in general, no, the peace movement. So altogether, and uh, there are, uh, uh, again, uh, who is part of this coalition? 60, 60 Italian organizations. Uh, some of them are uh, focus it all in the question of peace, disarmament, no violence, but other are 
we say general organization, I mean, like a trade union or like organization, they are working, supporting the uh, human rights or legality, anti-corruption, uh, uh, um, uh, against the climate change, you know, um, et cetera, et cetera. So all, all uh, these 60, 60 organizations practically are the, the one of the pillar of Europe for Peace. You no. Know? And we are part, as uh, um, SGGL, we are part of the of the um, steering committee, you no, know, the uh, of Rete uh, Pace Disarmo. I'm a coordinator of the board of uh, the, so the union, our confederation, is already part of the peace movement. You see, it was yeah. quite easy to to go all together on the on the street. No, because we were already part of the peace movement. So this no. is a big difference, Sergio Basoli, with, with the United States, where peace groups join environmental coalitions, peace groups join multi-issue coalitions if they will let them, but other groups do not join peace coalitions. Environmental okay. groups, civil liberties groups, anti-poverty groups, uh, groups that you would think would care very much about peace and about where the money is spent. They do not join peace coalitions. The peace movement is on its own, without yes. labor, without anybody helping. Uh, this we, is very we, different, right? Yes, David. We say we, we are saying that we politicize the peace movement. I don't know if it is understandable. I mean, we uh, our uh, uh, wish was to. Um, um, to to break you know, to break the, the the barrier between the peace movement and the other platform, they are fighting and mobilizing for right, justice, you no know, freedom, right? You no, know? so uh, um, and the, 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 I mean this is a reflection of the Italian peace movement. No, uh, uh, built in uh, the, the in the beginning of uh, 1960. No, the, the, there is a yes, there is a, 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 a an history and a reflection and a, a, a lot of criticism no, about about. Uh, um, um, how how to to have, uh, to get more uh, impact you no know, in our society how to uh, move uh, our institution how to uh, uh, to uh, to be a, a, a actors actors a subject political subject you not know, to change our policy you no know? uh, yes. so I, I, I think the the and, what is that, what will be, will be happening in uh, uh, the next weekend, the seventh uh, of October? Yes, uh, is a um, um, is a big goal for us because the seventh of October, but we have to 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 make a step behind uh, before going to the seventh of October because when we started uh, saying. She's fine and, and negotiate for uh, finishing the, the war in Ukraine. Uh, as Rete uh, Pace Disarmo, that is a national and big uh, network, uh, we decided that our, our network was not enough. So we launched a, an open call to other unions, other actors, from the, the Catholic movement to the left movement, saying, please, come on, we have to work all together. We have to build a strong, strong movement to say no to this, uh, to this war. And we make a, a, a step, uh, uh, we withdraw, no? We withdraw as a rete pace disarmo, and we build this coalition. Europe for peace. So, Europe for peace has one pillar is uh, a coalition of rete pace disarmo, 
And then there are other coalition, other uh, national organization, other unions. Finally, we uh, launched a, a the, uh, uh, two national rallies, no, the 5th of March and the 5th of November, but we launched three decentralized mobilization in Italy involving more than 100 cities, means 100 groups going in the same day, no, in the street, in the square, uh, asking for the ceasefire. Yeah. And so Europe for Peace is a, 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 is a large coalition of more than 600 organizations, national, local, spontaneous, but more than six, uh, 600. And so we can go to the and uh, the, uh, the 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 set the the fifth uh, of November of last year was the biggest rally, you no, know, uh, in Italy and in Europe, of in uh, Piazza San Giovanni in Rome, uh, uh, with more than one hundred thousand people were uh, in the square, but more more than one hundred thousand, no. But, uh, and that was unbelievable because we have um, we, uh, all the, the 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 media are against uh, our position. No politician take the, the, the our position took the, our position. So it was not easy, no, to manage the counter attack to our position to say cheese fire and we, we don't we don't want to answer to the war with the war, but yeah. we need to, our answer has to be negotiation, uh, uh, political deal, diplomacy, and, uh, and uh, because we have to stop the killing of people and the destruction of a country and the risk of nuclear war, because behind this, there is the risk of a, 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 a nuclear war. Yes, of course. So, so Sergio, not as big a rally as 2003, but a bigger rally than anybody else has put together. Why, why, why and how are you organizing more people for peace in Italy than in Germany or Spain or England or United States? What, uh, what are the advantages? How are you doing it? I think one, one, uh, one answer and one reason could be from my point of view that uh, one of the promoter is a, a mass organization. I mean, CGL as a mass organization. So when you have an organization of a million of members and, uh, and uh, his position is very clear, we have to act, we have to be committed uh, for a goal make a difference no yeah because as you know uh, we are not in the condition at international uh, level but in national too like in uh, 2003 we are not in this position i mean the fragmentation right. the division atomization of uh, the international movement is everywhere in, in Italy too. But when there is a, a, a call from the national organization, the big trade union, I think the, the, the peace movement retook enthusiasm and capacity to, to, to be mobilized. I thought that there were some politicians, some elected officials in Italy, at least somewhat on the side of peace. Is, is that not true? Well, some politician, we took a distance from uh, the parties. We say, you, you are welcome to our rallies. You are welcome. But as individual, not as, uh, you do not go to, the, to, to take the floor. No. Welcome, see if you agree on our uh, statement, 
but please, you are one of the citizens, you are one of the participants. Yeah. Because there is a, a opportun political opportunism. We don't see um, we don't see um, the the coherence and uh, accountability on our politician because is uh, we had so I don't want to say names but there, there were some politicians they before they they were uh, uh, supporting the military expenditure in uh, uh, the, the public budget, no, the national budget. And then they they were against the, the sending uh, weapons in uh, Ukraine. But just we, we saw a position more for to, 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 to find some consensus in some uh, parties and et cetera, et cetera. I mean, uh, we we took a, a, a clear position, uh, taking some distances from uh, political parties. No. So what will happen on, on, yes, yes, please. on October 7th, what will happen? And it, it, this will be an enormous rally, I hope, and but it will be multi-issue, peace and other things, right? Yes, this is, as uh, I was uh, saying before, this is a sort of um, convergences from the different platform. And this is, believe me, very ambitious, very difficult, but we put it together a, 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 practically, we found a common understanding, no, a common perimeter inside the constitution. No? Our bill, I mean, the, the and and we we uh, we want to to say to the to our society, you know, to the politician, that our institution have to respect our constitution. Uh, our constitution is saying that Italy is founded on work, so the work, job, you no know, occupation. Is, uh, is is the uh, one of the fundamental of our society. Our constitution is saying that Italy reject the war. So our uh, institution have to uh, to to find a, 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 the the solution of the conflict by peace, by negotiation, uh, to prevent, not to uh, increase and participate indirectly you know, uh, uh, to the war. So th this is practically the philo f f philosophy of this, uh, of this rally, all together to uh, ask the application of the constitution, each platform now as the, the, the article of the constitution uh, related. Sergio, we have only three or four minutes left. I, I, I look at the Italian constitution and it looks a little bit like the Bible. You can find whatever you want because it says we will not use war. It even says we will limit national sovereignty in order to have international authority for peace, which would be absolute heresy in the United States. But then it also says Parliament has the authority to, to declare a state of war. The president is commander in chief and, and, it, and all the ways you can make war. And, and it, it, it seems like very mixed messages. We won't have wars, but here's how we'll have wars. Well, uh, for us, the, the is, no, for, for, for us, I understand that we have a different culture. In terms of law, no, uh, Anglo-Saxon uh, is uh, has a, a very, very uh, short uh, uh, laws, so very short, uh, a few law. We are uh, from the another culture. We are Latin, uh, and we have uh, a, a long, a long uh, document, uh, many, many articles. Uh, uh, Thousand of uh, law, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So different kind of, But our constitution is very clear. Has a the first chapter is the chapter of the fundamental right. No, and in the fundamental right, 
uh, th there is uh, the if you see the the uh, the um, uh, uh, human right uh, human right chart from uh, United Nations. No, uh, uh, practically uh, you can put together is the same principle and values. No, the respect of. Uh, uh, fundamental uh, to individual right, uh, the freedom, but in, in the question of uh, fighting the war and uh, rejecting the, the war is, is very clear. Then, of course, there is, uh, if there is a, a need of defense, there is a, 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 a system how to protect you know, the people in the country. But if you use this one only in the sense of defense, not in the sense of offense, there is no contradiction. I mean, uh, we are for the no violence, we are for disarmament, but we are not against the, uh, uh, the existing of uh, a, 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 a system of defense you know, of everybody. The, the, the question is, to, to find a way to have a, a common security. No, that they are the principle no, uh, going to the Helsinki 1975 uh, process no, that failed, unfortunately, along the uh, um, Cold War, you know, when all of Palme built this idea of the common security. Yes. Um, we do we have just one minute left. Uh, how can people find out and support and help and follow what you're doing and be involved, including with October 7th? Oh, uh, we are uh, working a lot in communication in this uh, in this period. Uh, we are organizing event in the cities before the 7 of October because 7 of October is part of the uh, uh, international week of mobilization as we agree in Vienna in June. So the uh, 7 of October is the main event in Italy, but we are organizing event in, in, in every cities along this week. Uh, we hope to, uh, to achieve a big, big uh, rally the 7th of October, but we want to mobilize our society along all the week. Very good. We will have links up that you can click on at talkworldradio.org. We have been speaking with Sergio Basoli, who is senior officer at CGIL's International Department, also with the Rete Italiana Parte di Sarmo and uh, with Europe for Peace, which you can also find online. Sergio, thank you very, very much for coming on Talk World Radio. Thank you for the invitation, for the interest, and for this nice conversation. This is Talk World Radio. I'm David Swanson. Take action at rootsaction.org. Help end war at worldbeyondwar.org. Read or listen to today's Peace Almanac entry at peacealmanac.org. All past shows can be heard at talkworldradio.org. Talk World Radio is produced in Charlottesville, Virginia, and syndicated by Pacifica Network. There is no way to peace. Peace is the way.